What is up everybody? Brandon Gadula here with three of my favorite bets for this week's Charles Schwab Challenge at Colonial Country Club over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Starting off, I like Victor Hovland to win. Last week, wedge play and around the green numbers were all the rage. It was expected to matter more than usual at the PGA Championship, and it did end up mattering more than usual, but this week, not so much. Strokes gained around the green correlates quite weakly with total strokes gained at Colonial. That should be great news for Hovland, who is in the sixth percentile and adjusted around the green play over the past year in my database. It's pretty bad. But Hovland is an elite ball striker. Uh, this course rewards accuracy a good bit as well, and he has that plus distance off the tee. He's just a great driver of the golf ball. Had really good tee to green data at Colonial in his debut. Uh, this feels like a great setup for Hovland this week. And my data also pinpoints him as a prime putting regression candidate because of his splits from within 15 feet. Moving on, I like Sam Burns as well this week. Burns wound up top 20 at the PGA Championship last week. He ranked 19th in strokes gain approach, but 69th of 78 golfers to make the cut in strokes gained around the green. We'd be talking about him a lot more if the wedge game was even neutral and he finished top 10, but uh, Burns you know, has win equity. We've seen that in the past with him. Uh, be open to a top 10 market though this week. A lot of good names at the top of the field, but with those big names, we have to nitpick a little bit more. And one thing you might hear about Burns this week is that he's got a lack of course history. He has a missed cut in 2018, T31 in 2019, and that's it. But that was Burns before he broke out. As a different Sam Burns, this is a new and improved Sam Burns. He's a legitimate contender at Colonial, and because of the field at the top, we get a pretty good number on him this week. Also like Maverick McNeely this week. Uh, if you looked at the bottom of the leaderboard at the PGA Championship among the cut makers, you will see Maverick McNeely's name down there at a plus 15, which is admittedly not good. Uh, the ball striking, the overall tee to green data also not good, but one event worth of data it's not predictive of anything, let alone just the next event. It's very misleading. The longer term data on McNeely is quite good for the price. He's another golfer who should benefit from a de-emphasis on strokes gained around the green this week. McNeely's 73rd percentile in this field in adjusted ball striking over the past year. He's a plus putter. He's got three straight main cuts at Colonial. I like him as a sleeper, but also as a top 20 option. That'll do it for my favorite bets for this week's Charles Schwab Challenge. Best of luck this week. Let's hit a winner.